totally everything that we love to do in the horror space, especially with radio silence, is that sort of tension but fun. Um, it's not only a great release for any movie, but it gives you a great break as the tension builds and as some of the horror builds. And this movie adds something even bigger on top, which is sort of a flipping a Dracula movie or a vampire movie on its head and not having the expectation, especially when the movie opens up and there's real peril for what would be a traditional trope of a movie of a young girl, and then she becomes the powerful monster that she is. I think everybody has their sort of preconceived notion of what a vampire is. And, you know, there's actually a great scene in the movie where they talk about that. Like, what kind of vampire are we dealing with? And they, you know, talk about vampires not so much as historical of who they were, but in other movies and would have been, right? So you think this movie's starting in a completely different way. And it sort of very quickly evolves into the power of what that character is and that everybody kind of knows and feels. And then we play with some of those tropes a little bit and some of the typical things that you would think could stop them don't. And that's just a, a super fun twist on, on the vampire role.